Yeah, it's like in this world they've created, the magic aspect of it is sort of retro, which is a really clever conceit in my view. So um, yeah, there's technology and then there's um, and advances culturally and then the, the, the magic sort of is in the background, you know? Like they have a, a, like a, a seeing eye dragon, for example, to help somebody who with disabilities to get one place or another. You know, that's just one small example, but um, it, I, I don't know, that aspect of it is very playful and relatable. It makes the whole story relatable, including this crazy elf world that's been created. Dan Scanlon directed this film, and it's really based on something very personal that happened to him uh, in his own life with the loss of his own father. Um, I think it's actually quite remarkable how he's been able to take that story of his own life, personal, intimate, uh, and translate it into this story that, that has, um, shall we say, global appeal, I would say. Uh, a quest story. Um, it, it sort of, it, he kind of mines the psychological fantasy that he no doubt had as a, as a, um, as a boy, or even now as a man. Well, um, Octavia Spencer plays the manicure, and I mean, she is the most sublime actress working today. Period. End of story. So I'm utterly thrilled to have had this chance to work with her. Um, I admire everything she does, um, and she does everything. You know, she's got great comedic skills. She has amazing dramatic skills. She can do it all, and. Um, I think she should rule the world, that's what I think. Well, I think on this film, like all Pixar films, frankly, uh, this film tells a story that will entertain adults and children concurrently. Um, and that's a great opportunity to hear a story as a family, and there are jokes for everyone, and there's drama for everyone. Um, and I, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. I think it's a cool, a cool project and it's, it's good for all people. And it has a good sense of, it has a good moral compass, uh, which uh, we could use those kind of stories these days. Um, I think that's very helpful. It's about kindness, it's about love, ultimately. And it's about uh, truth. And these are all great themes. Hey, it's Lisa now. I hope you liked that video. Do you think it will be a success? Well, do you know what are the top five grossing animated movies? Coming in at number five is Despicable Me from 2017. Number four is Toy Story from 2010. Number three is Minions from 2015. Number two is Incredibles 2 from 2018. And number one, which I'm pretty sure you can guess, is Frozen. Now remember to click here below to subscribe or on the site for more great content.